Replace. Oh, uh, essentially it heals you. There are a limited number of usage before its power is depleted. Dragon Heart's charges are replenished after resting at a camp. I mean, checkpoint or dying. Okay. Oh, here's a. No. Less may turn up. Who's this? Oh. Wait a minute. Do I got my gear? No. I know that uh, they give you the the equipment that your class starts off with. All right, let's go talk to Forge. I think it's this way. Oh, guys, a lot, uh, another thing, just be prepared to see me, like, stumble or run around certain places just trying to find out where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> it's been a while since I last played this game. Glad to see you got the reactor running. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. He mentioned the founder of War 13. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. Stranger! I'm to help you get on your way. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. Go see oh, yeah? the McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come Word? see me afterwards. Hey, if anybody knows the reference to it. Any, any anytime, Luna. I'll be streaming for quite a bit a bit today. Uh yeah. Uh hope to see you back soon. Uh, as I was saying, anybody re uh, got the little uh, reference that I said? Stranger. If you played Resident Evil 4, you'll understand. Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city. As a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Wrap and iron. Uh, upgrading guns and armor. Oh, so the crit percentage and stuff. Okay. How much do I have to spend? Alright, uh, let's just do the rifle. Not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. There it is. <laughs> I guess Ford ordering me around isn't all bad. <laughs> Ship. She keeps this place going and helps folks like you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. Uh. That's all I have for now, friend. I go check in with McCabe. I think she's got some upgrades for you. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. Stray? We got plenty of mouths to feed without taking in random drifters. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. Damn, and son. A pain in my ass. Damn, I didn't That's even do anything. Peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. Yeah, are you always this grumpy? It's the apocalypse. 
I can be as grumpy as I damn well please. Got a point there. Let's see what we're dealing with here. From the look of that rifle, you're not getting close to the action. This will keep those weeds in your sights. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Of course, I'll everything's for a fee. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Weapon mods. Weapon mods are used to augment the power of your ranged weapons. When equipped, a weapon generates mod power by inflicting damage on the enemy target. When the power meter is filled, press RB to activate the weapon mod. Yes, guys, I am playing on a controller. Like I said, if I'm not playing like a shooter or some sort, or like Paragon, I'm, uh, I'm going to use uh, my controller as much as I want. You play the way that you want to play, that's how it be. Some weapon mods active immediately, others activate an alternate fire mode for the weapon, allowing you to shoot powerful projectile with each devastating effect. Uh, this is essentially just uh, talking about the weapon mods. Alright, oh, there we go. Uh, Mark all, uh, okay, yeah, 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 this is uh, the special ability that you start off with the class. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Oh, well, damn. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. And if this blows us all to hell? <laughs> well, here's hoping it doesn't. I think we gotta go to that, that stone. Yeah, the stone over there. Things this way, I believe. Yeah, right here. System is locked, huh? Hmm. Well, this looks like it was important once. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. Any key to continue? Initialize. Might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. I'm done running errors for you. <laughs> you mentioned the founder. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the root came from. 
We spent so much time out there searching. And one day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. Do you think he's still alive? He knew the outside world better than anyone here. It's easier to think he's dead. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Word. Good luck. <laughs> Damn straight, I should be welcome back. Pardon our neared. Oh, I got a plus one? Oh. Alright, uh, did we get anything else? Let's take one of these. Full of heal. Whoops. Essentially, the hub area. Oh shit, there's a survival mode? The Earth Founders Hideout. That's you! Yeah, uh, we're essentially almost up to the part where I just like stop playing the game. So let's just explore the area out. I'll just leave it, leave it up for you guys to read. All right. Huh. What is the labyrinth? I think this is a little secret area, if I do remember. Yeah. Drifter. Damage per stack. Stretching for one second, evading or sliding, adds one stack of Nera. Nera stacks increases range and melee damage. Plus five. Oh, interesting. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's funny. There. Yeah.
Find the subway entrance. Do sneak attacks. Yeah. All right, we cleared out a good, good batch. By the way, guys, I hope the stream is uh, looking good. Been messing around with a couple of those settings, so hopefully it's all good now. I was just some exploring. What's that? Oh, can't go that way. Okay, okay, back up. got any kind of hail. Alright, let's continue on. Ooh, that up there. Good thing it is good to break stuff, I guess. Check that out. God. I've been playing too much of the Breath of the Wild. Adrenaline. Check that out. Oh, shit, do we actually have to go that way? I think we do. Ooh, more stuff. Oh, I guess that's the damage boost uh, if I keep like sprinting or sliding. Anything over here? No. All right, time to move on. Do we actually have a map? Oh shit, we do. Woohoo! 
I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to activate my ability. Oh my god. Oh, this is awesome, being able to see through walls and getting an increase in uh, crit. Oh my god, am I gonna bleed? Please no. I don't know what the uh, what does adrenaline do. <laughs> I don't remember. And that is our first death. Uh, where do we go? Oh. It's a 